Every year, Minnesota Special Hockey likes to put together a jamboree. This means that players from all over the state come together to play their favorite game. So today, the Minnesota Wild Special Hockey St. Cloud team hosted the 2022 Jamboree. We had five different towns, Centennial, Duluth, Moorhead, St. Cloud, and Brainerd. Since so many players take the ice during the Jamboree, there are typically two games played, one for the A and B teams and another for the C squad. No matter what game you play in, there is plenty of fun and competition to be had. Some players have grown up in the sport, while others are trying out a new hobby for fun. I, this is my first year playing. Yeah, yeah, I've been playing hockey since I was like five. Fifth year? This is my first year as an ice hockey goalie. I've done uh, one year of floor hockey with Special Olympics. All, all my friends joined this team a couple of years ago, so I decided to join, including Tara right here. We, we were actually second year players, so. Even though some teams won and some teams lost, almost everyone agreed that they played well, tried their best, and had lots of fun. It was a lot of fun. I got two goals today. Here we go, a team. I think it went good. There was a lot of uh, good players uh, watching both teams, and they were trying hard, and you could tell everybody was having fun and doing their best. It was good. Um, it wasn't really a tough opponent. I think everybody passed really good today and played really well. We did great. We had a lot of fun. Uh, we didn't score many goals, but it's about having fun. We also asked a lot of the players, coaches, and volunteers what their favorite moment of the day was. So here are a few of their answers. I like watching a lot of the, the eight players uh, play, skate together. Um, the, the mix of, of fun and sportsmanship, is it's pretty cool to see. Meeting new people, meeting playing other, against other teams. I see, I've see. i seen improvement from last year to this year in our team, um, and we've got some new players, and it's it's great seeing the new faces. And you know, as you get to know them, they're, they're a really great bunch of people. Watching some of the players um, pep talk each other um, is really encouraging, supportive. I just love seeing that when they build relationships, when they have fun on the bench when they talk to each other and have a good time. Just the excitement of kids when they hear their name over the loudspeaker when they score. And just talking to Eric, our volunteer for to announcing today, is just for watching the people the first time watching special hockey, how impressed they are with how it runs. Like just how everyone plays. It doesn't matter if you're a great skater, a beginner skater, hockey allows, special hockey allows you to play. All in all, it was a great day of hockey at the Herb Brooks National Hockey Center. And it's clear that Minnesota Special Hockey truly does change lives for everyone involved. If you're interested in joining or helping out with the program, you can visit mnspecialhockey.org or you can go out to one of their games, which are typically played on Sundays during the season. If you liked this story, make sure to like and subscribe to The Rink Live on YouTube and turn on notifications for whenever we post new content. Reporting for The Rink Live, I'm Sydney Wolf.